Hello and welcome to Rauta. I am Jerry and this time we go with the classic. This one is Tiamat from Sweden with Clouds. Now, as many of you know, this band is old as hell, coming from late 80s and was part of the so-called Swedish ways of death metal. But this album, which is, by the way, Metal Scraps reissue, as you can see, beautiful digibook, comes also with a patch I will show you. This is actually a transition album. Um, starting or coming more likely uh, from the phase where Tiamat was not exactly pure death metal or death doom anymore, yet not exactly the gothic act we got to know later on, gothic dark metal, whatever you please. And let's just adjust the camera a little bit. So I'll show you. First of all, this comes with a patch, which I mentioned. And of course, with beautiful uh, digibook packaging, CD here. Including, by the way, quite a bit of uh, bonus tracks. I'll show it to you here. So you get to see the original clouds. And then a lot of live tracks plus a hidden track. There's a little bit of muting here and there. Here it says Century Media. But this is licensed by Metal Scrap Records from Ukraine. Which has previously done some beautiful uh, reissues as well. Now let's show you the whole content. It comes with pretty thick pages and I consider this as a value release uh, like so many other uh, similar ones are created with less quality but this one is beautiful comes with um, nicely printed pages and this is so thick in terms of uh, paper quality that it almost counts as like a uh, uh, thin cardboard and this is of course a compliment because there are lots of uh, CDs which seem so very very low quality when it comes to the paper and packaging and all that it's pretty much like a cheap ass version of versus what you got have here uh, so I'm considering this one a premium version of uh, of a CD and even though I'm not much of a using patches I mean I have literally zero in use Especially this kind of bonus content is something that makes this kind of a release stand out from the rest of the basic digipacks and jewel case. So kudos to Metal Scrap Records making this beautiful packaging. Now when it comes to music of Tiamat, now as many of you know it started with the name Treblinka back in the uh, late 80s. But after a couple of years changed the name to C Tiamat and it was 1990 when Sumerian Cry, the debut album, came out. And here in Metal Archives, you can pretty much see it's like a Dead 2 metal early and later on Gothic metal slash rock later. Now, of course, it, it's up to each individual where you just point the line, where it changed from one thing to another. But I would say it basically with Wild Honey already, it was the new era of Tiamat and Death Metal or Death Doom was gone. That's actually, by the way, when I started listening to Tiamat, to my surprise, obviously, back in the days, it was a big surprise that this band was totally different before that album. But Wild Honey got me captured because it was so beautiful and eerie at the same time, so very sweet, soft and all, whereas the early works are quite different. Now, since Close is the one we have here as a topic, not the full discography, let's focus on Tap. The original album here lasts for some 39 minutes, which is kind of a basic track length, I mean, eight tracks and all. Now, if we click the other versions, you will see that this has been reissued many, many, many times, but we're here talking about this April 5th, 2024, Digipack Deluxe Edition re-release version, which is here then again listed as 69 minutes, or almost 70 minutes total, including the live tracks, which is very, very special. And as you can hear, see the photo of it, it is so much better looking than your average thing. That is, of course, you already saw how I presented it. So, like I said, this is the transition uh, album of a Tiamat, which is not exactly purely any more death metal or death doom, but not yet totally gothic. So what it is, in reality, is kind of a dark metal take on the thing. There are certain levels of death metal still in play, and of course the slow, slow tempo is kind of a giving it this doom death metal vibe. Now, whether you call it doom death or dark metal or something else, it's kind of a beyond the point. I mean, I totally get it if people would be putting in this into the same box as, say, My Dying Bride to Your Early Works especially, or Paradise Lost, Early Anathema, and the like. Because while this ain't no UK bleakiness, and having same kind of a tragic gothic thing even, 
There are lots of similarities, however, in the music. So kind of a death-like approach with the semi-growl vocals, but not purely growling anymore, not yet even doing purely uh, clean vocals either. And the same thing kind of goes hand in hand with the production. It's not super heavy, it's not really like death metal-like anymore, not that much anyway. But it's not really the softness and kind of beautiful uh, thing what's happening already with Wild Honey. So this is indeed some kind of a transition. We just kind of abandon the rest, but you don't change the style overnight. I mean, we're not talking about the Dark Throne kind of a change. I mean, compared to Souls Like Journey and then starting black metal after death metal, but more like slowly changing the thing. There are lots of other bands which are or have been doing the same kind of a thing, coming from certain era to something different and transitioning slowly. We could even say that same thing or similar thing happened with bands like Sentenced with Amok album, not exactly death metal, not exactly something else, or bands like Amorphis, I mean changing from death metal to something approachable, more commercial and all that stuff. Now, in my opinion, Clouds is in good balance in that segment. It's not really like overly commercialized. It's not overly sweet, soft and whatever, lame, if you will. I don't consider it lame, but I mean, I would understand if people would be saying after death metal past saying that, but it's not really, you know, uh, totally abandoning the past. So it's an interesting album uh, taking the best of both worlds. But at the same time, it's also a compromise for that sense. So people who are looking for a certain kind of a death metal or death do metal might be like, oh, I don't know, it's not heavy enough, it's not dark enough. And the people who are looking for more gothic appearance might be like, okay, this is still too much growly sense for that particular audience. And now I find, like I said, Cloud's pretty much a nice transition in the sense. Like I said, best of both worlds. But does it do big tricks for me in the sense of like, does it really take me deep into the world of Tiamat? Not so much. I consider it a decent album, not a great one, but that's just me because I'm not a big fan of this particular style. So it isn't really up to Tiamat. It's not Tiamat's fault that I'm not a big fan of this kind of style. I can totally listen to this stuff and I, I don't find it's like too dated or anything. I just find it a little bit out of my comfort zone, if you will. But those who love the album, who have been considering that should I buy it or not, I think this is indeed the version you should go with. Because like I said, it's beautiful, it's a uh, great craftsmanship, and it's so much more value than your typical CD release. I mean, of course, if you're allergic to Digibag or Digibooks, this might not be the thing you want. I would be putting this one into my collection if this was indeed the kind of stuff that I wanted to listen and own and all that stuff. Now, there are links provided in the description box as always, so go to check out music if this escaped you back in the days, and if you're looking for more for information regarding the band or the release, you will find it in the description box with the links. So off you go, enjoy! <laughs> 